Scared and uncomfortable, that's how some people feel about living along the Texas border as migrants pass through every day. Raul Oliveira is cautious, especially at night, and constantly worries about his family's safety. Wink News anchor Claire Galt traveled with the Florida National Guard to the border and spoke exclusively to Oliveira at his home in Eagle Pass, Texas, about what they see in their backyard. It's March, and Raul Oliveira's Christmas lights are still up. Not because he celebrates the season year round. Raul told me the lights protect his family and his home from strangers who pass in the night. We continue to have migrants come through here. It, it does get scary. It does get a little uncomfortable. You start taking precautions that you normally wouldn't. You never know in the dark. And when the sun comes up, Everywhere you look in Eagle Pass, there are signs of migrants making the journey. Over this cliff here, you can see clothes, trash, shoes left behind. And this cliff backs up to Raul's neighborhood. They want to change their clothes because it's cold and they're crossing a river. The migrants just come out running and they get on the cars and they take off. How many? Uh, in groups, three, four, five at a time. Andre Salvarad told me migrants are part of everyday life. And so is fear. You never know what kind of people they are. So now, Andres and Raul's neighborhood watch is made up of federal border patrol agents. They're hard to miss in vans like this. The Texas State Guard reports crime is up in this town of 28,000 people. The good news, Andres told me, so far no one in his family has been victimized. And Raul said no one leaves his house alone for any reason. My wife won't take out the trash tonight. It has to be me. It has to be somebody together. My daughter is a fitness instructor uh, at 17 years old, and she leaves to work at 5.30 in the morning, 6 in the morning, and I walk her out. Most of the time, neighbors told me, the extra precautions are just that, precautions. Denise Valdez told me now that there are men and women in uniform from Texas and Florida, things feel better. We are an extra eyes, ears, and hands. To, for they can, so they can do their job effectively and safely. The razor wire doesn't hurt either. Migrant crossings here are down in the last month, from hundreds a day to dozens. And most of the time, the men, women, and children try to go unnoticed. When you live here, you can see that they just uh, try to pass. But as long as strangers keep passing through his neighborhood, Raul will keep his Christmas lights on outside and keep his family inside. In Eagle Pass, Texas, Claire Galt, Wink News. You're watching Wink News at 6. We'll be right back.